Hey guys, it's Lorena. Uh, right now, I am getting all my things ready and organized for an event that I'm dancing at tomorrow night. Um, it's for my dance company's Basha. So ISIS Dance Academy, if you have no clue what ISIS Dance Academy is, please, I've put the links down below. Just go and click, click on them, like us on Facebook. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything. I'll list all those li those links um, below so you can like us and see our upcoming um, events that we have going on and also follow us and learn all the great things that we're doing in the belly dance world. Um, but I'm here today because, like I said, I'm getting everything ready for our Basha tomorrow night. And one of those things that I'm very passionate about are veils. The prop veil. The veil. I am so passionate because to me it's one of the prettier props. Um, it just flows so gracefully. Yet I will say it does not flow that well if it's wrinkly. Um, I'm a huge stickler when I go and I'm actually a audience member, I look at those things. When a dancer is performing with a veil, if it is nice and ironed, it flows better, it just puts a whole other element to a veil dance, yet when it's wrinkly, it looks very unprofessional. The, per the trained eye, like me, will only think about, oh my gosh, how crazy wrinkly is that veil and not actually look at the dancer and how the dancer is moving gracefully and everything because the veil the wrinkly veil distracts from all the wonderful graceful moves that you're doing so also so it, it's also just not professional um that's when you can really tell between an between an amateur dancer and a professional dancer in my opinion so i am here to do a how-to on how to teach y'all to properly iron your veil and some tricks along the way so you're not spending hours trying to iron out the wrinkles in your veil. So one second and we'll get to it. So you see this wrinkly veil. We're going to take care of that. Spread your veil all the way out and then take one side and fold it over. When we get to ironing, you will see that you will only have to iron one side and not both. Go ahead and get your iron out and put it on the lowest setting or the silk setting. And then you're going to want to turn on your iron and get that baby warmed up. Now, as you can see me here, I get the ironing board that you can place anywhere on top of a counter, on the floor, wherever. I get comfortable and I iron that sucker. As you can see, I go top to bottom and then side to side. You only have to iron that one side because the silk is so thin that once you iron one side, it automatically irons the other side. So, less work to be done. Yay! You're gonna want to also make sure to get the actual edges of the veil too, because that matters. It's almost like business pants. Ooh, oh, so silky. Then when we're done, we're going to fold our veil up, and then I just use a Ziploc bag, put that sucker in there, zip it up, and it's ready to go, and it won't get any more wrinkled before your performance. Okay, so I'm back. Now you saw how I ironed my veils. Um, I want to clarify some things. This is silk veils. Um, any other veils that are made out of any other material, I have found ironing is, especially if it has um, other materials in the veil that can melt and things, ironing is a no-go. Abort while you can. Um, these are for, my tutorial is for only silk veils or china silk what um however you want to look at it silk veils um the veil that i ironed was actually it's a 10 year old veil um i know it doesn't look one day past two years old but um make sure to take care of your veils that one um is kind of what dahlia amar my troop captain says her woogie veil um it's one that just goes with me wherever i go it gets tossed in the bags it gets just tossed everywhere um so all I'm saying is just make sure to take care of your veils because over time it will get harder to get those wrinkles out if you don't uh, take care of them, put them away, fold them and put them away right after you're done performing with them. And as I showed before, all I do is after I perform with it, I fold it up and put it in a big gallon Ziploc bag. 
those work wonders. There's no big fancy bag to put them in or temperature controlled bag or anything like that. Just a plain old Ziploc and I also do that right after I iron them too and it goes straight into my dance bag to wherever I'm performing. Now there's some alternate ways too uh, that you can do besides ironing. I always tell my students I don't care if you have the time to prep you need to iron but let's get real, life happens and we don't have the time that we think we do, so there's two alternatives. You could toss it in the dryer with some, uh, uh, with some, um, oh gosh, what are they called? Dryer sheets. One, it makes it smell really good. Two, it keeps the static away, because I will say that if you do decide to uh, throw your veil on the dryer to help get out some of the wrinkles. It will have static So put some of those dryer sheets in there and that should take care of that um, Also, what you can do is I've done before I've gotten last-minute gigs where when I jump in the shower I actually hang it um, on my towel rack While I'm showering and the steam actually steams out all the wrinkles for the most part um, And what you could even do if you wanted to take your ironing a step further when you're in the shower um, have it hanging on your towel rack like I do have it kind of go ahead and steam some of the wrinkles out and then go back and iron it and it might make your ironing a lot easier so that's if you have a lot of time to devote to ironing your veil if not those two alternatives work okay depending on the severity of your wrinkled veil so like I said, I always tell my students when we have an event that we can actually plan for, I the expectation is you iron your veil um, before performance and after a performance if you can, um, but definitely right before. If we're, again, if you have a gig and time is not an ally, then doing the dryer and the steaming and or both will work enough. It's better than walking into your performance with a wrinkly veil to begin with, so just saying that um, remember that it shows professionalism and it also distinguish if you're an amateur dancer or professional dancer um, you could totally be an amateur dancer but the fact that your veil is ironed will say a lot especially to the trained and untrained eye uh, so I hope y'all found this tutorial helpful um, I know for all my ladies my students who are performing tomorrow night if you have a veil if you're performing with a veil iron your veil. <laughs> Thanks so much guys. Oh and if you are in the belly dance world and you're interested in having a custom dyed veil, I actually dye veils so I'm able to ship wherever you want. Um, I'll put a link below to maybe some pictures that I have of some of the veils that I've dyed or you can um, email me tweet me, Facebook me, do whatever you need to um, to get more information on the veils that I dye and um, how much they cost, all that good jazz, and I'll be happy to dye one for you. All right, guys, again, have a great night, and remember, make sure that no one ever dulls your sparkle and just keep sparkling on. Have a good night.